Okay, today is Rosh Chodesh. Was Rosh Rosh Chodesh just ended, the first of Tammuz. And the overview of chapter 9, July, July 7th. Overview of chapter 9. Thanks for sticking it up. Overview of chapter 9. In contrast to the human condition, where intellect is the starting point of successive development, emotion, speech, etc. By Hashem, it is so low that it is like an action. So intellect for us is just a, an image. But with Hashem, it's an action. And even this is a very poor analogy due to our limited vocabulary and comprehension. For truly, Hashem is infinitely exalted. We can't say the way Hashem thinks. It's, it's, it's way beyond our scope. Chapter 9. In regard to Hashem, however, the level of wisdom which in all created beings is the beginning of thought and its genesis is to Hashem, the final stage of action. Meaning in relation to Hashem, wisdom is considered as if it were the quality and level of action. Also, it's just in your head. You have to bring it out in action. But in Hashem, with Hashem, Kedachsiv, Kolom B'chach Masisa. About God, it's written, you have made them all with wisdom. So at first glance, it would seem more appropriate for the Pasuk that said something like, you have intellected them all. Why does it say you have made them? When speaking of wisdom, God, you thought of them and then you brought it into being. That's to say that wisdom relative to Hashem is as the quality of the life force in physical and material action is, is in relation to the quality of the life force of wisdom. What's wisdom? Wisdom being the beginning and source of the life force in man and all physical creatures. Meaning the life force of physicality is incomparably lower than wisdom, which is the life, the source of all life force. For the life force of physicality is as nothing in comparison with the life force of the letters of speech. Which in turn is nothing compared to the life force in the letters of thought. And then we take it one step further. Which in turn is nothing in comparison to the life force and level of the emotive attributes from which this thought is derived. So, for as explained earlier, all letters of thought emanate from some emotion which brings them into being so that the individual concerned should think these particular letters. You formulate an idea and it comes out. Clearly the life force of the letters of thought bear no comparison to the life force of the emotions from where these letters emanate. Two separate things. You have a desire. Oh, I'm so hungry now. And then you think of the food and then you make the food on the fire. The initial idea of the I'm using a, just a silly example. You want ice cream. Now you have to figure out where to get it. And you take it, you know, whatever. But the end result has no relationship to the initial desire. Two separate things. Does that make sense? I just put something incredible. Okay. I don't know if I should share it. You're, you're on so let me finish. We have a little bit more and then let's get to that something incredible. Hold that thought one second. Shehu ka'ayin legabe chayu sumaz madrega chachma which in turn is as nothing in comparison to the life force and level and degree of wisdom, understanding and knowledge, the source of the emotion um, of the emotive attributes. So thus from the level of action to the lofty level of wisdom in the world of Atsilos, there are about five levels, each of which is of no account in comparison to the level above it. Uh, also, again, when we think of something, and then you move on and you're establishing it. You, you finally come to terms with it. You want to, you want to, you know what? I want to write an article about something. You just, you have this desire and you sit and you work on it and you, you write it out. The end result could be so different than the initial emotional attachment that you may have had towards the desire to do something. And here too, in the world of Atsilas, you have the different levels and they don't 
necessarily have what to do with each other. Clearly then, the lowest level of action is surely of absolutely no account in comparison to the highest level, which is the level of wisdom in the world of Etzilus. And just as action is infinitely distant from the wisdom of Etzilus, Kein Mamish, Erech, Madregas, Omalas, Achaf, Mashirish, Omakar, Achayas, Shabuchol, Oilamos. Exactly so is the quality and level of wisdom, the beginning and source of the life force in all of the worlds. What does that mean? We we're speaking here of the sphere of Chachma of the world of Atsilus. That's where we're, we're starting up top, which is the source of the entire world of Atsilus. The Chachma, like the idea, the thought, the highest of all the worlds. As such, it is also the source of all the worlds below because everything comes, you know, it, it, even though it's once you get to Asiya, this world, it seems so far away, but it came, the godly light came through Atsilus, Briya, and see, there was a whole. That's what Seder Shtal Shlus is all about. There's all these different levels, but it goes one to the next, one to the next, one to the next, continuing, continuing on down the chain, down the steps of the ladder, so to speak. And as such, it is also the source of the world below. Now, this level of wisdom is as nothing. When it comes to next to Hashem, this level of wisdom to this world or to Bria or to Yitzira compared to the Chachma of Atzilus is absolutely nothing. Can't compare in relation, like Abba Kadosh Baruch Hu Bechvei in relation to Hashem, blessed be in His glory and essence. Hameroimam, hamesnase riba revavis, riba vais madrega israimimus yoiser miraimimus madrega chach madrega sachachma al bechinas chayes shabasia, who is elevated and exalted by so many myriads of degrees of elevation, more than the quality of wisdom is elevated over the quality of the life force in action. So he reimimus. Chamesh, Madregas, Levad, for this is an elevation of only five degrees, namely the letters of the levels, sorry, the levels of speech, thought, and emotive attributes and intellect. But Hashem, blessed be He is high and exalted above the level of wisdom by infinite myriads of such degree. Now you could say, even though the level of Chachma of Atsilos and the level of Chachma of Bria and Yitzira and all the different levels in between, they have nothing to do with one another. But when it comes to Kaddish Baruch Hu, above the level of wisdom, it's not, there, there's no Shaykhis whatsoever to these levels. It's so much higher. Okay. That's what we learned today. So the takeaway is, if the depth of mankind is his mind and his intellect, you can imagine how you can never truly relate to Hashem. Because intellect is an attribute, intelligence is an attribute of Hashem, described as his action. God, with us, it's just in our imagination. Hashem himself is supremely above and beyond intelligence. He works in ways that humans cannot fathom. So we try to put certain words into context to allow us to try to formulate some kind of an idea in order to have a relationship with Hashem, but it's really uh, well beyond, well, well, well beyond our capacity. So that concludes that for today. And thank you everyone for joining us. We'll send out the video shortly.